steering us emotionally through movies, TV shows, even advertisements. Well, Michael King tonight is on Vashon Island with a guy who wields that power wisely. Hi, Megan. Whether it's victory, fear, or romance, music makes us feel. You've likely heard a guy named Pete Droze without even knowing it. Like when Harry and Mary hit it off in the famous snowball scene in the movie Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, I was jealous when there was no need to. Or in Grey's Anatomy, when the tune sneaks under the dialogue and then takes center stage. Addison. What? Leave it to the problem with me. If just to know it's true, love me all. It's just a surface wound. You know, with them. Pete even appears on camera singing with his wife in Cameron Crowe's film, Almost Famous. Please stay. I want to hear We played the song from top to bottom one time, and Cameron was like, that's great, we got it, you know. Now he's on a first-name basis with Crowe, one of Hollywood's hottest directors. You and me. I kind of got known a little bit as the soundtrack guy pretty early on. He was a 20-something Bainbridge Island guy in a band when the Dumb and Dumber thing just kind of happens who knows how. That I don't think I'll ever know. I've met probably a half a dozen people who have told me that they're the one who got it in there. Um, and uh, I believe them all. The song, If You Don't Love Me, I'll Kill Myself, becomes the lead single on the soundtrack. What I didn't realize at the time, these are all things that everybody's clamoring and fighting to get. Um, so I just sort of dope do do sort of it all kind of lined up. This musical renaissance man is equally comfy with drumsticks, a guitar, or a soundboard in his hands. And he says it doesn't make sense, but he still gets butterflies watching his stuff in a theater. I get really nervous. Like, as when I know my scene is coming up, my heart rate increases, the adrenaline kicks in. I get that wound up. I'm sick of the tambourine if it came in on the bridge instead of the second chorus might be cool. He often works with his wife and partner in music, Elaine Summers. They hit it big with the National Car Spot, a rare ad with no announcer, just Pete and Elaine strumming and singing. Go whichever way the wind blows. You are caught in your world. For the advertising world, the Toyota Spot was like, you know, the holy grail where it's just picture and music. That doesn't happen often. He won't admit to being romantic. He calls his style more melancholy, but he tries to write songs that don't go too far. To not be so guided one way or the other, so not to be like sad music or happy music, but to kind of find that zone that's more neutral. So the next time you're watching a show and you feel like crying, you very well might have this guy to blame. Some of the video you just saw was Pete working on his latest project. It's a documentary called A Lot Like You. Now, if you'd like to find out more about Pete Droge and his music, just head off to our website, king5.com. Be sure to click on Evening Magazine. Still to come tonight on the show. He claims...